Hi everyone, uh, my name is Sara Adidus. I'm a research software engineer working at the Netherlands Science Center. Uh, before that, I did my PhD in EOS and WRS department here at the ITC. So it's nice to be here again after about four years <laughs> and see some of my former colleagues here. Today first, I will uh, give you an overview about ESMR tool, which stands for Earth System Model Evaluation Tool. And then my colleague Bauer will uh, present a short survey uh, the output of the survey will help us in organizing workshop about ESMR tool in the future. So let's begin. What is ESMR tool? It facilitates the analysis of data for air system models. As you may know, air system models are complex code that project uh, the future uh, climate. To help researchers, ESMR tool uh, provides a standard format to implement scientific workflows, which are known as recipe. As we can see in this uh, figure, a uh, workflow consists of a standard operation like data filing, data fixing, running preprocessors, or running model specific analysis, which are known as diagnostics. And with a recipe, we can define uh, each part of this workflow. Here you see the architecture of the software and its main part like input data, ESMR core, which is uh, responsible for preprocessor and functionalities. Uh, um, diagnostic or model specific analysis, uh, configurations, and recipes. ESMR2 also provide a collection of recipes that are developed by uh, several researchers in climate related domains. In this way, we can reuse the code instead of re implementing it from scratch. Uh, the other thing is that ESMR2 stores provenance and citation information in a user friendly way. And this helps to ensure the transparency of research output. And also, uh, ESMR2 process data in an efficient way regarding computational resources. And here, this is the link to the uh, website if you want to know more about the tool and general information. The tool is built and maintained by international community of scientists and software, software engineers from different projects and uh, different research institutes. Uh, you see here different, we have different teams in the community. For example, we have technical and research uh, or scientific teams that they review code. And those codes are developed by researchers in uh, climate related domains. Uh, development, maintenance, discussion, and collaboration take place in public in GitHub. This is the link to uh, the GitHub organization. And as you can see here in this, um, figure, you can find more information about the community and also you can have access to the source code of the tool. Uh, with regard to impact, uh, so ESMR2 is open to both users and developers in uh, climate related domains. Here you can see a list of uh, recent publication with the result, uh, with ESMR2 and if you follow the link you can have the full list of publication. The major contribution of ESMR2 is IPCC report. Uh, the uh, ESMR2 is used to produce the result for some of the chapters in this report. For example, in this figure, you see uh, mm, uh, near surface air temperature uh, from both uh, CMAP5 and CMAP6 compared to ERA5 data. And if you are interested to know more details, please have a look at the report. And here is another example of the impact of the two uh, results produced by ESMR2 are used in a scientific briefing to teach climate change, uh, for example, to other uh, non-climate scientists or public. Uh, as shown, one of the part of the workflow is input data. Many climate data nowadays are available on uh, ESGF, that stands for Air System Grid Federation, and uh, some of the research institutes are are a part of this federation. They have supercomputer with uh, access to climate data, so no need to download data. Here you, list, uh, you see a list of the research institutes. So if you or your project uh, is connected with this research uh, institute, you can uh, access the data. And also ESMR2 is installed in some of these uh, supercomputers. The good news is that ESMR2 also is installed on CRIP in this note uh, shown in this figure, thanks to Serkan and Bauer to help with, uh, in studying the two. And in this uh, slide, this is just an example of how to 
uh, run the tool in a Jupyter notebook. So the first uh, set is just you import the tool. The second, you can use the configurations tool, um, which is just a user config file. You can um, say uh, where to store the output of the data if you need to download the data or the data are available on the platform. Uh, and this notebook, uh, actually I run it on uh, Crip yesterday. And uh, the last day you can just uh, choose a recipe or a scientific workflow and run uh, the tool. If you uh, want to know more uh, details or to get familiar with the tool, here are the resources. The first one is uh, the web page and it provides general information and also links to other resources. This is the GitHub organization as shown in the previous slides. You can uh, access to the code and also get more information about the uh, community activities. And this is the uh, documentation. And also we have tutorial for both uh, basic and advanced user. Documentation and tutorial uh, covers uh, several aspects of research. Uh, it means that uh, it uh, shows how uh, tools work but also shows how to access and process input data, how to cite the results, how to develop your own uh, scientific workflows, and what are the best practices in developing software. So if you need help, please contact us. The best place is our discussion page. It's, you can find it at this link, and their community members are there to uh, help you with all of the questions related to the tool, community, or other issues. So that was an introduction to SMR tool. Now I will ask Bawe to present the survey. Is the link also in collaborative? Yes. Yeah. Link yeah. The link to the survey also is in the collaborative document in the uh, presentation part. Yes. Uh, I don't know how you can. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, You need to sign in, I think. Yeah, I would need to sign in. Let's see if there's a yeah, browser. Let's go outside the platform. Um, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, if you have some questions, this maybe is, we can take questions. Yeah. I think this isn't really working. Yes, Yijian.
Yeah, so I'm not sure if we should still do the survey now or maybe people can just look at the link in the document and fill it later. Uh, it was only meant to facilitate discussion anyway. Uh, and we're running a bit late, right? So I, I'm showing the first question now. It's just three questions. Um, okay, I, I suggest you show the uh, questions by maybe submitting dummy answers and then uh, people will understand and they can, they can fill in later on. Yeah. So here, this is the first question, and, and you can just uh, submit your answer there, um, and then um, uh, there's a question about which programming languages you use. So for the Eason Volatile, it's mostly written in Python, but R is also supported. Uh, so I think that matches pretty well with what I've seen so far from the Institute. Um, and um, uh, what challenges do you face when working with climate data in your research? This is another question that we wanted to ask. I hope it's actually possible to fill in the survey no, after. I think you need to run it and go to the next uh, step. Ah, I need to advance the stuff? Okay, so then it's, it's going to be... In case, I, I suggest we, we will share the link with, with, with the participants. So basically you can fill in the survey at a late, late, later time. So I think it will be really... And we can also share it with other colleagues from ITC. In, in general, so they can also provide feedback because we have we have uh, colleagues working on, on this uh, topic. In fact, a quite large group of people. Okay. Good. Thanks, and I, I can also copy paste the questions in the shared document. Maybe that that's okay. Even that would be great. Yes. Way to get some answers. Okay. And, uh, Wonderful. In case this uh, this doesn't work out. Okay. okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, and thank you for for your understanding.